This is a presentation of As Played Sports Network, 1945 National League. Today's game has the 1945 Pittsburgh Pirates visiting Sportsman's Park to play the Cardinals. Pittsburgh currently has a two and a half game lead over the Cardinals. September 3rd, 1945. Hello and welcome to uh, my first stream for uh, middle of my 1945 Major League Baseball replay. It's right at the end of the war, um, so we have some players returning, um, notably Hank Greenberg of the Tigers and Bob Feller of the Indians. Uh, here's the American League standings. Detroit was the victor of the pennant and the World Series. Uh, they've been surging since. Uh, Greenberg came back July 1st. Uh, they're only four games back. It's uh, September 3rd now. Um, I'm playing all the Cleveland games um, and managing Cleveland. Uh, they're, they're underperforming by nine games. They're in sixth place. Um, Washington is leading the American League. They finished second that year. And the National League, uh, same type of thing. Chicago was the Winner of the pennant. They are nine games back. It's getting late early for them. Uh, Pittsburgh's on top. Uh, two and a half games over St. Louis. And that's uh, both Both leagues seem to have good races. Here's some leaders here at home runs. You can see Buster Adams with 20. And Workman of the Braves with 23. Mel Ott has 18. It's coming on strong. And like real life, Phil Cavaretta of... Chicago Cubs has a 369 average leading the National League. So today's game, featured game, is going to be game one of Pittsburgh at St. Louis in Sportsman Park. Big game. St. Louis could pull within a game and a half of the Pirates. I'm going to be managing the home team, uh, the Cardinals. It's a great day to play baseball in Sportsman's Park. Pitching matchup is Fritz Ostermuller. The southpaw is 2-2 two two with a 3.59 ERA, 21 walks, 22 strikeouts, and 43 hits allowed. Ted Wilkes is throwing from the right side for the Cardinals, 8-3, 2.77 ERA, 34 walks and 35 strikeouts, and 95 hits allowed. Uh, this is a quick series, a doubleheader um, today, Monday, September 3rd, 1945. Um, you can see the Sportsman's Park, Sportsman Park ballpark effects here on a good day. 1 through 10 on both sides of the plate for a single. 1 through 11 on both sides for a home run. And Johnny Hop has a 10-game hitting streak. And here you got your hot and not uh, batters and pitchers. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. It's a ballpark effect single, and it's 17. Ted Wilkes gets it from the mound, throws the first for the out. Um, for defense for the Cardinals, we got Del Rice catching, Sanders at first, Emil Verban at second, Marty Marion, a one fielder at shortstop, Klein at third, Red Shun and Deinst. I apologize for the pronunciation in left field, Buster Adams in center field. And Johnny Hop in right field. Uh, pretty good defensive lineup. Next up, we have Johnny Barrett coming up with one out. Another left-handed hitter. Six column and four fly ball center field X. Buster Adams. Two fielder, nine error rating. Let's see the, uh, the result. Fly out two. And will he make an error? Yes, he does. Two base error, Johnny Barrett. So for these games, I play pretty much um, a direct port of the board game. Um, 
the super advanced board game rules. The uh, main variant I have under the hood is just uh, for ballpark effects, singles, and home runs. I have them spreading out the outs, so it's not just a bunch of line outs to the shortstop or second baseman. So it'll give you, um, like you just saw, a ground out to the pitcher once in a while, or ground out to third, ground out to first. So I like to keep it uh, close to the board game, and then if I'm playing um, a card set I have, I will play offline. I will play hybrid, computer, um, tabletop replay. But let's get on with the game. Jim Russell's up. Uh, they were just checking Barrett at second, and uh, he was uh, came up limping, so he's fine. Jim Russell's up, the left fielder, batting 299 with 10 home runs. Runner at second, we're not holding him. Takes his lead, he's trying to get a lead, he's held tight. Wilkes delivers, 6-10, ground ball shortstop to the sure-handed Marty Marion. He's got it, and the throw to first, and he's got him. And the runner's going to stay at second. Bill Salkeld, the catcher, he's batting 284 with 10 home runs. Some power in this uh, Pirates lineup here. Wilkes with two outs, delivers, and strike out. And that's it for the Pirates in the first. So just a one error, and we have St. Louis coming to bat. And Red Sean Deinst is up, the left fielder, batting 284. Two home runs and 57 RBIs. He's uh, kind of performing above his expectations. He's got 19 stolen bases as well, which is very high for this season. And he walks. Austin Wheeler walks. Sean and Dice. I'm going to stop saying that. Johnny hops up. Corners are in. For the Pirates, we have Salkeld at catcher. Dahlgren at first, a one fielder. Koskerart at second, Gustine at shortstop, Elliott at third, Jim Russell in left field, Al Gianfrido in center field, and Barrett in right field. Uh, and please excuse my pronunciations, and sometimes I don't know the first names. I've been playing mostly American League games in this replay, uh, having done the Indians, and then it's been a lot of very competitive games between Detroit, Washington, and the Yankees that I've been playing. So, Pittsburgh has the corners in for Hop. I think I'm going to swing away. Thinking of doing a hit and run. Let's do a hit and run. He's a B-rated hit and run. And here it comes. Four, it's a ground ball to third base. Elliott charges in and throws the first and gets the runner over. He's good as a bunt. I've noticed there's a lot of hit and runs in this era as opposed to just uh, straight up sack bunts. Lots of players have good hit and run ratings. So Luke Klein, the third baseman's up with a runner at second and only one out. Ostemuller delivers. And this one's going to be a ground out to second base. Coast Guard got, has it, throws the dog in and he's out. And now we have a runner at third base for the uh, Buster Adams, who's got 20 home runs and 80 RBIs, batting 305. And the Conway finalist for the National League MVP. Here's the pitch. Four. Nine pops it up. And there's Babe Dahlgren, and he's got it, and that ends the inning. So after one inning, there's no score. So Bob Elliott leads off the second. Wilkes delivers. And he grounds out to Marty Marion to Sanders. There it is. He's out. All right. Frank, Frankie Gustine, Gustine. He's facing Wilkes now. On the right side of the plate, 3-8, and he winds out the middle. That's two outs already. Wilkes is, is cruising. There's Babe Dahlgren, the first baseman, batting 253. Here's the pitch. 4-7. It's a high drive. Home run 1-7, through seven, or fly out. 10, and it's a fly out to Red. Sean Dynast. And that's three outs. End of one and a half. No score. Now Ray Sanders, the first baseman, is up for the Cardinals. Lefty versus lefty here. Sanders is 274 hitting. 71 RBIs. Lots of runs scored on this Cardinals team. 
five. That's a good column. Three, fly ball right field X. Johnny Barrett comes on. He's a two fielder. And he's pretty good. It's a fly out and an error. Barrett drops it, and Sanders is in at second. Runner at second on no outs for the Cardinals. Emil Verbin is up. Sanders is a very low threat to steal here. I think about moving him over, but we're going to swing away. I'm not big on bunting with a runner at second, and that's it. And this is why single, 1 through 16. It's a three. He's got a hit. Runners on the corners now. No outs. Marty Marion's up. He's hitting way over expectations. He's hitting 342. Uh, compared to 277. And we're going to hit away. It's not an exceptional bunter, and we have the bottom of the order. I might have Rice bunt if, uh, if this fails here. That's not double play, knock on wood. And he strikes out, swinging. Ostemuller, his first strikeout of the game. So now Del Rice is up. Now it's decision time, huh? Corners are in. Ugh. One out. I'm going to have him swing. Two. That's the column we want. Four. Single. Runners advance. Two bases. Verbans into third. Sanders scores. It's one nothing Cardinals in this big game here. They get the first two hits and draw the first blood. Now Ted Wilkes is up, and we're definitely going to bunt the runner over to second. He lays it down, and Wilkes might beat it out. Uh, it's based on his running rating. It's two. He beats it out. Sacrifice bunt, and he gets the first. Bases are loaded. One out for Sean Dynst. He's uh, he walked in his first at bat to lead off the game for the Cardinals. Two. Eight. Single. One through 18. It's a seven, and he gets a base hit. Verban scores. It's two nothing Cardinals. Austin Mueller's struggling. And now he's got the left-handed hitting hop up to bat. He's 0 for 1. 5. 3. Fly ball right field X. It could have a sacrifice fly situation. It looks deep enough. And it's going to drop in. It's dropping in. Two runners are going to score. Wilkes is coming around. Sean Dites to third. Hop to first. It is four to nothing. St. Louis in the second inning. Wow. Now Lou Klein's up the bat. Runner on first and third. He's batting 500. He's only got six at bats this season. In real life, he batted 228. Um, with the meat of the order coming up. I see if he gets a one column, it's going to be a double play. Um, a very high likelihood. I'm going to have him swing away. Five. Thank you for no one. Eight. It is a triple, one through five. Otherwise, it's a sack fly. And it's a fly ball to Gianfrido in center. He's got it. And Shundice is going to trot in. And it's five nothing. And the five runs there, we're doing point of weakness um, fatigue rules. So Fritz Ostermuller is already tired. We're going to eat into that Pirates bullpen in game one here. Let's see if they change him right away. Uh, with two outs and runner on first, we have Buster Adams up, the, uh, the strong-handed 20 home run man. Three. Six. And he walks him. Ostermuller staying in there. Trying to uh, milk as many runs and outs as they can. So it's 5 nothing here. Ray Sanders is up, another big, big bat. 71 RBIs. And they're taking Austin Miller out. Johnny Atlanta is coming in. Oof. Who's this guy? I mean, he's got over usage, but I mean, they can do it. He's got a 11.25 ERA. He's 1 0. Eight hits allowed and three strikeouts. What a horrible card. Ray Sanders is uh, looking his chops here. It's one, four, single to right field. So it's Barrett. He's a plus one arm. Runner speed, 15. Hop's going to score, try to score from second base. He's, we're sending the lead runner. 
and we're going to send the trailing runner Adams to third. They're going to let the run score and try to get Adams out. And they do. 18. They get Adams out at third, but they still score the run. Innings over. Six runs for St. Louis in that inning. Wow. Well, there goes a lot of uh, drama, possibly, unless Pittsburgh could could rally off of Wilkes here. We have Kostarart, the second baseman. He's batting 214. Four. Two. He strikes him out. It's a second straight up for Wilkes in this game. Johnny Lanning is up, the pitcher. Let's see if they pinch hit him. I hope they do. I don't want this guy in the game. He's going to... I'll be here for three hours. And he's going to hit. And he's going to strike out. Ted Wilkes strikes out two in a row here. He's cruising. Gianfrido's up. He's 0 for 1. 5, 8. He grounds at the Marion. Marion to Sanders. Ground out 6 3. That's three outs. Pittsburgh's side is retired. All right. Verban is going to lead off. He is one for one with a run scored. Six, four. Catcher's card X. Salkeld, it's popped up. And he gets under it. He and he's going to catch it. One out for St. Louis. Marty Marion's up, who's 0 for 1. Batting 342. He's the guy that's batting way over his expectations, and he's going to continue to do so. Triple, 1 through 13. And it's in the gap. Russell and Gianfrido chase it down, and Marion's in at third for a triple. Now Del Rice is up one for one with an RBI. He'd like another one. And he's going to get it. It's a fly ball to deep left field. Russell's got it in his glove, and Marion scores to make it 7-0. Seven 7-0 nothing. Seven nothing Cardinals. Ted Wilkes, the pitcher, is up. He is one for one with a run. 2-6. It's another fly ball to Russell. He gets under it. He's got it. That's three outs. At the end of three innings, St. Louis has seven runs and seven hits and one error. Pittsburgh has no runs, no hits, and one error. All right, Johnny Barrett is leading off. He's the second hitter for the Pirates. Wilkes delivers. It's a fly ball to center field. Buster Adams, a good fielder. He made an error earlier in the first inning. It uh, looks like it's bouncing in there for a base hit. So good start for Barrett to bring the Pirates, uh, hoping to bring them back in the game. We're still going to hold them. We're not going to give them any freebies. Jim Russell's up the bat. He's 0 for 1. And it looks like we got a good roll for him. Single to right field. Hop's got it. Barrett's going to hold it second, not taking any chances. Station to station for the Pirates. And the catcher, Salkeld, is up. He's 0 for 1. Hop throwing, two, seven, and it's a it's in the gap in the right field. Hop and Adams converge. Um, Adams has it. He's a plus one arm. We're not going to throw for the lead runner. We're going to stop the other runners from advancing. Salkeld is at second. Both runners score. It's seven to two, just like that. Now Bob Elliott's up. No outs, runner on second. 1-5. Ground ball to second base. Verban underhanded to first, and he's got him. Augustine is up with a runner on third and one out. We're not going to play the infield. Actually, you know, we're going to bring the corners in. I don't want to give them any freebies. 2-7. Ground ball to third base. Perfect call. Climb to Sanders and holds the runner at third because he was playing in. The corners were in. Third base was in. Now Babe Dahlgren's up. Uh, if they get out of this with only two runs, they'll consider it a, a small victory. Five, five. Ground ball. Sanders has it. He takes it to himself. Takes it to first himself. End of three and a half. Seven to two now. So we got Red Sean Dynst out there. One for one with an RBI. Lanning throws. Single one, line out otherwise. Soft liner to second. Kuskerer uh, snares it in his glove. That's one out. Johnny hops up. 
One for two with two RBIs. He's got 46 now on the season, two more than his season total of 44. And it's in the three column. It's a ground ball to Gustine. He throws it over to Dahlgren to retire. Hop, that's two outs. Now with two outs, Luke Klein's up, hoping to get something started with two outs. And he is. It's a ball sailing in the gap. He goes into second. It's a double. Mr. Adams is now up. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Scored seven runs without much help from him. And it's not coming here. He grounds at the third base. Elliott has it in his glove. Throws the dog in, and that's it. Three outs. End of four. Seven to two St. Louis. So here's a big inning here. We got to retire them. Kosterart leads off. He's 0 for 1. From the right side of the plate. And it's a drive. Deep to left field. And Sean Banks is going to chase it down right at the wall. That was a ballpark effect. Out. Actually, it wasn't a ballpark effect. It was straight up split on his cart. Johnny Lanning is up. Let's hope for a pinch hitter. No, nothing. They're just riding this guy. He flies out to Buster Adams. It's 2 down. Al Gianfrido, the leadoff man. Uh, he's 0 for 2. Batting from the left side of the plate. 1 5. It's a single to right field. Hop has it. Uh, brings it in. Gianfrido's at first. He's getting held. There's his card, four through six. He would get a lead. Let's see if they're going to take any chances. Barrett's up. He's hitting 291 above his expectations. 18 home runs compared to 15 expected. 86 RBIs to 67. So he's probably one of the reasons Pittsburgh's over uh, overproducing in this replay and in first place. Uh, Johnny Barrett. Is an unsung hero here. Five, six. It's a fly ball to Sean Banks, and he's got it. That's that's the end of the inning, and we have uh, seven to two halfway through the game. Uh, out of town scores. Brooklyn is edging Boston one to nothing. Walker has hit his twelfth home run for Brooklyn. The Cubs lead Cincinnati three to two. Wise and Kennedy currently dueling. And Philadelphia is slipping by the Giants 2 to nothing. So not much of, of consequence. Uh, the Cubs have the ability to make a run here. So, But as I said in the open, it's getting a little late. Ray Sanders is up. He's 1 for 2 with an RBI. 3-3, three, three, fly out. Gianfrido's under it. Can of corn, he's got it. That's 1 out. Verbin is up. Verban. He is one for two, one run. He's a right-handed hitter. He's batting 300 even right now. No home runs and 60 RBIs. Uh, cleaning up from the cleanup guys. Three, nine, double one through 15. And it is. It's in the gap. He's taken second. He's standing up. So he's two for three now. Very nice day for Verban. Marty Marion's up. He is one for two with a triple. Six, seven. Okay. Split the uprights there. Ground ball to second base. Koskarart. He's a three E17. So let's see what he's got here. Ground ball two. That'll move the runner over. No error. Koskarart over to Dahlgren, and he's out. Verbane takes third, so now they need a hit. It's a clutch situation for Del Rice. He doesn't have any clutch readings on his card. Three, not good. Eight, fly ball to Russell. Russell camps under it, and he's got it. That's the end of the fifth inning for the Cardinals. And things have been quiet since the third inning for St. Louis. Wilkes continues out there. Uh, pitching changes in this area were not done unless they seemed kind of necessary. There's not a ton of bullpen work yet. Jim Russell's up. He's one for two with a run. Batting an even 300. And he singles. Russell. We're going to hold him. 
Salkeld is up. Let's see Russell, yeah, he's you got to hold him or he'll automatically steal. And we're not going to play corners in or anything. One, six, ground ball to Verban. Verban to Marion at second. Marion rebounds to Sanders, and that's a double play. Big double play for the Cardinals. They only need 10 more outs to win game one of this doubleheader. Bob Elliott. Right-handed hitter, 0 for 2. 2 11. He lines it to Sanders, and Sanders stabs it. That's three outs. Uh, just like that. Uh, they got the leadoff man on, but double play cost them. So now we're in the bottom of the sixth. Ted Wilkes is up. He is 0 1 for 2 with a run scored. And he's on the danger column, the double column, and he hits it in the gap. And now it's his turn to get a double. You see, Johnny Lanning has actually come in and stopped the bleeding. He's only let in, I, I think, a one earned run. Five hits, though. I think most of them are, are those doubles there in the column four. Uh, the top of the order's up. This is going to get really dangerous unless they make a pitching change. One, seven, line drive to Elliott. Bob Elliott snares it and looks Wilkes back, and uh, that's one out. Johnny Hop is up. One for three, two RBIs. The lefty, uh, he's not going to do anything fancy here. He's batting 319. He's looks like he's going to, oh, double, one through six, fly out to right otherwise. And it's a 13. Barrett doesn't have a, he has a plus one arm. Wilkes has a chance to go to third. We're going to try to advance to third. Low risk, four, and he gets there. And Lanning is not tired. So Wilkes is on third. Luke Klein is up. It would be nice to go up six here. He's going to hit away with two outs. Four, and he's going to hit away all right. And this one is over the head of Gianfrido to the wall. And he takes third. It's a triple for Klein. RBI triple. So it's 8 2 St. Louis. Buster Adams is up. 0 for 2 at the walk. And they're changing pitchers. Lanning is out. El Gearhauser is up. He is a 4 6 year old. He's 9 and 5. He's going to start in most of the season. 148 hits, 53 walks, 49 strikeouts. A very even keel pitcher. Um, I, I played a couple games of Pittsburgh this year. He's, he's thrown some nice games. 4.06 is in the radio for this year, though. Two, three, ground ball to Coastguard, and he throws it to Dahlgren, and that ends the inning. And a little more damage is done. It's now 8-2. to two. After six, St. Louis is eight runs, 11 hits, and one error. Pittsburgh has two runs, five hits, and one error. So eight to two, St. Louis. Wilkes is going to continue here in the seventh, throwing to Gustine. He's 0 for 2. Three, nine, ten, pop out. Luke Klein is under it, and he's got it right next to the base there. And that's two outs. And uh, an out-of-town score is the Cubs have increased their lead over the Reds to 5-2. to two. Babe Dahlgren is up 0 for 2. He's the first baseman. He's going to hit away. No uh, pinch hitter. Ground ball to second base X. Verban, he's a 2-7 E17, and it gets out of his range. And an error. So he got it. Stumbled. Throwing error. And Dahlgren takes second base. So Coast Guard, it's the end of the bottom of the order. Wilk should hopefully be able to get out of this. Two, five, and he walks Coast Guard. Okay, let's see what Wilkes' uh, card looks like here. His point of weakness is a six. So he's at his point of weakness. Uh, one more base runner, like hit or walk, and he's tired. And we're gonna have to look at the bullpen. And we have Gearhauser up. I would expect a pinch hitter in this situation. And yes, Frankie Frisch comes out, calls him back in. Jack Saltzgaver is up. He is the lefty against Wilkes. He is hitting 421 and 114 at bats. Not shabby. 
Um, this is in a big situation here. They could bring him back in the game going into the top of the order. Four. Well, round ball to shortstop Marion. Marion to first. That's out. He had to charge it hard, so the runners advanced. Runners at second and third now. Two outs. Al Gianfrido is up. He is one for three. Six. Eight. Single one through 18. It is an 18. And he hits it. Dahlgren scores. Coast Guards to third. Gianfrido's on first now. It is eight to three. And now Wilkes is tired. And let's see if we have anyone uh, we could bring in here. We have some some left-handed hitters. They kind of have an even lineup, lefty and righty. And uh, this, what do they call this? The Buick set. It's not a carded set, so the the splits don't make as much of a difference as they would in a you know a set that's actually physically carded. What do they call Cadillac sets? All right, we are going to go. Bringing in Jack Creel, another right-handed pitcher. He is 8-2 with a 3.21 ERA. 41 walks, 35 strikeouts, and 74 hits allowed. We're going to hold Gianfrido at first. It's a clutch situation. He's only got one clutch reading, and it's a pop-out, so he's not clutch. We just want to stay out of the one column here for Barrett. Three, four, oh, and he, he lines it, he pops it up to hop, actually, and right, that's out of the ballpark. playing for the Baltimore team. 861 fielding average for a shortstop. 1901. That must have been miserable. Owner at Honus Wagner's was that year. All right, Bray Sanders is up. One for three with an RBI. Here's his card. Nice card. All right, he steps in there. Big lefty. Six. Eight, and he grounds it to Dahlgren. Babe Dahlgren flips it over to Reskigno, who just got in there, and he's out. Uh, Xavier Reskigno uh, has been put in for this inning. He's 6-3 and three with 2.26 ERA. 62 hits, 28 walks, and 27 strikeouts. Only one home run allowed in 72 innings, which is nice. Burban is up. Two for three with a double. And he hits it in the gap there. And wow, Johnny Barrett rushing over. He gets it. That's two outs. He just uh, robbed Verban of the double. Marty Marion is now up. The shortstop. One, five. He walks it. So the first base runner allowed by Rustigno. Del Rice is up. Marion's at first, two outs. Uh, he's a uh, high automatic uh, caught stealing, so I'm not going to have him steal. Rice is up, two, four, and he singles. Marion trots over to third. Runners on the corners now with two outs, and we have Creel up. He's not a good hitter. He's batting .077, so we're going to pinch hit, and we're going to bring in a lefty. Rebel is coming to the plate to face the right-handed throwing with Stigma. 
Runners on the corners and two outs. Three. Eleven. Fly ball to right field. Johnny Barrett gets under it, and he's got it. Very dangerous column, and he got out of it to keep the score eight to three. And now we need a new pitcher. We're going to go with... we get some inning. No. I like this Jurisic guy. Al Jurisic is coming in to pitch. He's 7-2 and two with a 4.87 ERA. 65 hits, 38 walks, and 47 strikeouts. Six home runs allowed. Trying to uh, mop up here and uh, protect the five-run lead. He's got six outs to get. Jim Russell is 2-for-3 with a run. He leads off from the left-handed side of the plate. He's a switch hitter. Left fielder, 1-6. He walked. Not a good start for Jurisic. Gonna hold him. Salkeld, the catcher, is up. He's one for three with a double. Two, seven, and he's hits it into the gap. He pulls in at second, Russell to third. And we have runners at second and third and no outs. Bob Elliott's up. What's his uh point of weakness is two, so he won't he won't get tired yet, but I don't want to give him too long of a leash here. Bob Elliott, five. Eight strikes him out. Another strike off of Jurisic to make his total season total of 48. He's exceeded his expectation of 42. Now Gustine is up. 0 for 3. Batting 280, exact same as real life. And he strikes out. That's two strikeouts in a row for Jurisic. Maybe he just got warm. Now Dahlgren is up. It's like you almost consider walking him, but you don't want to want the amount of runners he put on with a five-run lead. Three, seven, ground ball to Marion. Marion's got it. He throws to Sanders to retire the side in the eighth. Very disappointing inning for Pittsburgh as they come up empty-handed. Middle of the eighth, it's eight to three. Red Shondines is up. Four, seven, split the uprights. Ground ball, second base X. Koskar, it's a 317, and he's got it. Seen some, oh, error. And he boots it. Run around first, the lead off hands on. Not a good start. Corners are in. I think we're going to try to steal. Yeah, 4 to 6 and 12. This is when we try to get aggressive. It'll be 1 through 16 if he gets his lead. And they're keeping him close, so no steal attempt. Hop is up. One for four with two RBIs. Three, six. Ground ball to second base. Coast guard to Gustine. Gustine back to Dahlgren, and they don't... It's not on time. Fielder's choice to second. Hop's now at first. Four to six. He's going to try to steal two. One through 15 if he gets his lead. And he is running... 1 through 15, and he's got stolen base. 18. Salkeld throws it, and he's got him. Caught stealing. Two outs now. Lou Klein, two for three with a triple. One, four. Strikes him out. First strike out of the game for Rescigno. That's it. Pittsburgh's up in the ninth. They need five to tie. Six to take the lead. St. Louis is a 99% chance to uh, victory probability here. Three, eight. Coast Guard grounds at the climb. Climb to Sanders. Out. Well, it's a final. Chicago edge Cincinnati five to four. So Chicago will jump one game. They'll be eight back if this score holds, and St. Louis will be a game and a half back. So the pitcher's up. I expect a pitch hitter, pinch hitter. Yep, Tommy O'Brien is coming up to bat. He's batting 355 this season so far. Two, eight. He lines at the Marion. Marion's got it. That's two outs. 
Pittsburgh's down to their last out. Gianfrido's up two for four with an RBI. A bright spot for Pittsburgh. Two, seven, and he walks. So Barrett is up, runner on first. Pittsburgh stays alive. No, we're not going to hold them. We're just going to let them let them fly. Five, eight, and he swings and he misses. The game is over. That does it for Pittsburgh. Wow, St. Louis gets a big win to pull within a game and a half of first place in the National League. On September 3rd, they still have a second half of this doubleheader. And there's the box score. Snellkeld gets two RBIs for the Pirates. Uh, Del Rice, Luke Klein, and Johnny Hopp each got two RBIs for the Cardinals. It was the six-run second inning that pretty much uh, was the game for the Cardinals. And uh, Ostermuller only pitched one and a third inning. Allowed five hits, six runs, only three of them earned. Lanning, he looked like a disaster. He pitched four innings and only let up two runs. Uh, Wilkes was was fairly solid. Let up three runs in six and two-thirds. And there's the, the story. Uh, in a lopsided win, the St. Louis Cardinals ripped the Pittsburgh Pirates by an eight-to-three count. St. Louis tallied six runs in the second inning when they came up with six base hits. That early run support was enough for Ted Wilkes, who is now 9-3 and three in St. Louis. Overall, St. Louis outhits Pittsburgh 12-8. to eight. Fritz Ostermuller suffered the loss and is now 2-3. and three. He pitched one and two-thirds innings and surrendered five hits and two walks. So that's it from Sportsman's Park. Thank you for watching, and here are the standings going into Game 2. St. Louis now a game and a half, looking to get a half a game back. And I will be manually playing that. Um, and I'm going to try to stream more again. Uh, this is kind of practice. I want to stream uh, the World Series, and then I'm going to go on into 1945-46 NHL, and then 1946 MLB with all the stars coming back from the war. So thank you for watching. Um, thank you for watching the broadcast.